Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, I've been keeping an eye, my eye on Skylab here, and uh, haven't had any other issues with it, so I think we're going to be okay. It looks like it was just the one bad hinge there, but... Well, two bad hinges. I still got to fix the other end there, but uh, it's still got some time to go. We got gathered a lot of resources for that. Uh, last episode, we were working on this conveyor system here, and uh, I've been coming up with some different ideas of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, we're not going to be working on this. Oh, jeez. I got to get a better jetpack. <laughs> we're not going to be working on this uh, right away. Um, there's some ideas I do have, like I'm thinking about uh, like how to do the the corners is going to be basically a turntable there's going to be like i said drop tables and stuff like that i have been wanting to do some fun with this uh sadly being in the survival aspect i gotta grind all the resources out so uh, one of these days i'm gonna have to go out and uh, deforest an entire landscape one of these fill up a couple of containers uh but another thing that's making things difficult and that's actually what today's product is project is about is being able to keep up with the resources to build things. Oh, is it raining? Yes, it is. Of course, I just started recording. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, uh, one of the things I'm doing is like even today, today before starting recording here, I spent like half an hour just going around trying to get iron and carbon up there. This miner ran out, so I can't do anything with that. I'm out of silver, sadly. I have just enough for today's project, and that means we're going to have to take the rat out for another run. I've uh, been thinking about putting some storage containers on here somewhere. Uh, I could use some more weight in the back, so uh, maybe I'll put something over here, maybe... We'll do something about uh, this eyesore here. Uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, one of the things that changed with the lot, one of the most recent updates was the fact that ore deposits deplete. And that's also making this, you know, this task, you know, I won't say this task, uh, this series somewhat difficult. And it's always been an issue with, uh, or the reason why I ended up going to the creative a lot of the times is just because of the, the resource gathering but I wanted to design something today that will actually be uh, you know a feasible idea something that would be great for everybody you know, if you want, most people that like to build and you know something that they always have there if you can take off site and be able to you know get your production going and not have to worry about doing anything uh, I'm actually going in here because I want to grab my mover tool because uh, I've been thinking about this. Oh, of course, I need inventory space. Uh, I'm going to drop some frames off here for now because uh, what I want to do is uh, one of the things about the mover tool, and I didn't quite realize it, this at the beginning, is uh, it actually holds inventories. So I am going to use this to my advantage. I'm going to put on my hotbar here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to build a large container. Uh, but I got to build it on a post because you can't just dr build a container in midair like this. You got to plant it or attach it to something. So we'll do that. I should have the resources on me. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I fill her in and drop it to the ground. And there we go. I'm going to fill it up, throw all these plates and frames, and we're going to go build builder's block. and. I originally I was trying to think of a an idea of you know some miners that would do some automated product uh, do some mining into printers to do some automated production basically so go off site somewhere just find yourself an iron vein by doing that and start chugging away uh, originally it was supposed to be like a, some sort of a truck of some sort and some sort of hovercraft maybe and then and I started thinking well. Uh, I don't even know where I got the idea. I was just like, well, how about builder's block? It was just, it's going to be a basically a, a mini a little building station. I guess I didn't need those. That you take along with you, and uh, you can build as you go. Uh, I thought I had more frames. I must have them in there already. Anyways, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Oh, is it nighttime already? No, it was just my imagination. Anyway, so we take our mover tool here. We can actually pick up the container with all its, all its inventory. We'll run over here. We'll fly over here as fast as we can before the battery runs out. And as far as I know, it just drops it so we don't have to worry about it. So we go here. And we'll just drop it right there. 
So now we have all our supplies with us. So we can actually build out here and not have to worry about it. All right, so uh, let me get my hot bar ready and we'll be ready to build. Okay, I am ready. I am gonna point out first before I build this, uh, it's not gonna be designed, real, well, it's not gonna look all that pleasing being on slopes or anything like that. It should still be functional as long as the miners touch the ground. We should be good to go. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this look as good as it possible. Uh, as far as the color goes, I haven't really thought about what I'm gonna do, but to start, and as you can see, I'm going to try to actually go with the corner slopes. I'm going to try to just keep it white, maybe. You know, maybe the, the builders out there, they can make... And of course, we'll be uploading it to the workshop, but, you know, you can be, feel free to color it any color you want. Uh, I'm going to be designing this around four, pa four sets of four air blades with a cross down the middle. So it's going to be uh, 13 by 13 on the inside, 15 by 15 on the outside. So that's going to be... Uh, let me do this. Okay, so here's the main frame. Uh, originally, I was going to have a, one set of staircases up in the middle wall. I should say there's going to be staircases going up to a second level up in here where there's going to be, you know, just quality of life things. There's going to be a, a heater in there. There's going to be a stasis chamber, maybe a compact food and drink machine or something like that. Uh, there's going to be access to the system here. There's also going to be access uh, up top in, in the main room uh, what we're going to do is let's actually get the stairs on here uh, I had some trouble with this I was <laughs> taking a, taking these sections out put this on here I go take the other side out and the whole thing dropped out again well why is it not sticking to it why is it not sticking to the side of the block and it, it didn't even occur to me until I was putting it back on that the block was even attached or it wasn't even touching the slope so anyway uh, so we'll go down here and then we're going to do, because uh, we're putting stairs here, I'm actually going to use the small ones, I'm thinking. Uh, this is all going to be glassed up too, well, I'm sure you've seen that from the thumbnail already. How does it look? Was it worth my time? And we'll find out. Uh, how do I want to do this? Because I want to have the miners and printers to underneath. Uh, that's kind of short. Now we'll go with the full size ones. The half stack, I should say. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And that's not gonna, gonna fit. All right, short stairs it is. We'll grab those ones, where did they go, where did they go? Stairs, what are stairs? We use jetpacks these days. It's help if I was on this side, it'd be a little easier. If I could stay on the platform. Uh, oh, legs are for chumps. I'd rather fly. Okay, do that. That. Now, let's see. How far will this go? Let's actually put the small ones in. Could be using slopes, but I'll try to get some curves on this build. Make it look sexy. Yeah, yeah I've gone from mad to crazy, I think. Alright. Finish this all up. I said I finish this up. Thank you. Uh, that's a weird. I'm wondering if that would be enough. Let me contemplate this for a sec. Okay, let's try something here. Maybe... Because we want to have two miners in here. And they're going to be connected to that. Uh, the miners, are they three or two blocks? Let's find out. What do we got here? So I like about these arc corners, or these arc blocks, you can actually see how wide things, things are. So it's five. All right. Well, then the miners will probably go in the middle then. It should work. Probably will have them sticking down one block just to make sure they actually touch the ground. 
So if we do that, just trying to think, like I said, I want to have a spot up top that we can go up to. Actually, I think I know what I can do. Just thinking about this now. Let's go up one more. You know what? I don't actually think this through, through too well. Uh, no point in putting stairs in the middle because it's going to be off center. Anyways, because I got a three block gap there. Or five block. So I'm just going to have one staircase going up one side and up to the top. We'll go up a little bit higher and we'll have a little platform there. Uh, like I said, there's going to be windows all around. Uh, I should be safe to take that out. In fact, what I'll probably do is I'll just cap it off so, you know, we don't walk into it. All right, so, yeah, I'll take these out. Uh, if I can get to them. Right. And then, yeah, from here, then I'll let's actually see where we're at here. See where is that ceiling tile? All right, and this is what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna put ceiling tiles here, with a couple of railings here and here, followed by another staircase up here. Oh, that's wrong tool, and that's not touching it for some reason. I don't know why it does that. All right, so now we get up here, and then I think I might have enough room for ceiling tile here. I'd be surprised if I did. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, fair enough. I'll take that out then. Wow, tough stairs. No wonder they're so hard to climb. All right, well, then I'm just going to put a ceiling tile here, then we'll just have this our main top here. So we'll go ahead and... And do that like that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This is gonna be like our little setup area. Uh, yeah, just like that. And then, like I said, the rest of it's all gonna be glass. I have no idea how well it's gonna line up. Uh, chances are I'm gonna have to space things out a little bit, and I have been. Oh yeah, it's already there. Haha. -ha. I might do the same pattern I did on the. Skylab, where I rotate it and have a block in the middle, because if this is 13 and these are 6 by 7, then I do something like this, All right, now I can just put something in the middle, maybe a block or something, oh, what would look good in there, a pylon light so we can hit her, heads up, hit her head on the way up the stairs, uh, I could put a light, but for the time being, I'm just going to put a block. Just like that. And I'm just realizing now I actually have to set up one of these as a conveyor tile. Hmm. Miner's going to be here. No, it doesn't really matter where they're going to go. So, so we got the stairs over here. I don't know. We'll put it right here. Actually, no, we're going to put it over here, because that's where the driver's seat is going to be. Because, of course, we're going to be able to fly this thing around. Uh, do it there. Okay, and then do that. And the sun is starting to go down, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of the glass on, and then uh, bring you back for the next day. Just thought I'd show this. The Skylab lighting up at, at, uh, during the sunset here cut out of the corner of my eye, I was like, what the hell is that? And I was like, oh my god, it's all the glass I got over there. Anyway. Okay, so here's what I got so far. So now, um, let's actually start on the conveyors first. Uh, I like to do my conveyors orange, so I'm going to do my conveyors orange. Uh, you're more than encouraged, I'll say, to actually change the colors if you wish. Make sure I get that on there because I gotta set up a new hotbar here. Get all my conveyor connections on here because this is gonna be fun times. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're right there. Helps if I look, right? I probably won't need that, but I'm gonna grab them all anyways, just in case. 
Well, I'm not going to eat that one. But it doesn't matter. So, uh, let's see. i got to find out where I want the miners. The miners have got to be right here. Right, that's where they got to sit. It's basically right in the center. So, I'm going to go ahead and get up somewhere where I can actually stand. Let's get... Uh, See, let's actually see how high, the, how tall the miner actually is. Get that on my hot bar. Well, doesn't really matter. Uh, there's that bug again. Yes, I know how to fix that. It's stuck in my hand. If I do that, if I drag it over, it's gone. All right. So it seems to be right to there. So I come down two blocks with it because I want it sticking down one block to make sure it actually touches. And I was missing something. Anyways. And then the printers will have to be here too. And I want to make sure that we can actually access the printers from the stairs. So then that way, when, if you're up here, you can just come down here. You can access both of them. One there, one here. And we'll be good to go. Uh, we will be setting the printers and the mine, or the miner anyways, to not use the containers so it doesn't flood the system. So the miner stays full of carbon and iron and si silicone, whatever you're... Whatever you're crafting, and goes from there. Anyways, uh, conveyors. Oh my God, I don't know why I was with these. No, I should be good. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna do that, and then come down. Yes, we're gonna do an elbow here, which is on six. Let me rearrange those. That's better. All right, so uh, it's gonna be. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna go this way. And I gotta have make sure I have three blocks. Uh, I don't know if it's like a fully square hit box, so I'm gonna come up two with this. If I hit the right keys, of course. One, two. I'm gonna put a T section here. Uh, yes, four. There we go. I knew I'd find it, and I put it the wrong way. <laughs> of course, I did. Alright, uh, four, yes, like that, and yes, painful, I know. Alright, so I want to come to here, sorry, I'm all over the place, it's almost like I, do. Almost like I have to go to the bathroom, but I don't. Alright, and that's not the right hotkey, that is the right hotkey. And that's the wrong way, of course. All right, there we go. Now I can throw the miner on there, which I had on seven, and it just fits. So now you can see it sticks one block down. So as long as this is touching the ground, it's going to gr grab the resources. And, uh, silly me, I should have put, I should have put a T on here somewhere. Probably right there. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. I'm going to have a, one miner here, I'm going to have another miner in behind it, and I'm going to have two printers back to back here, and we're going to get some storage. So let me do the conveyors off camera, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, there we go. And I had just enough room to, I thought I was going to have to replant this, which would not have been a big deal. All right, so now I think it was on six, seven, seven. So now we just took two printers on here. Uh, let's see, where are the ports? Oh, we gotta do it that way, do we? Uh, there's not gonna be room on that side. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try this then. Too many hot bars. There we go, six. Okay, we'll do that. And. I should be able to actually fit this in. Let's try this. Let's get it. Try it. That's not gonna work. But this will. Okay. And I just had the sudden urge to say before I mess things up. Always trust your gut instinct, because you never know when you're gonna do something wrong. Not always the game's fault, right? Anyway, uh, let's see what color should make these things. Hmm. Ah, we'll make them black, why not? So now I want to see if I can actually connect that port right to the side of the printer, just like that. In fact, you might actually be able to get them from the top, too. 
Alright, let me throw a couple more conveyors on here as soon as I find the right hot bar. Ha! Lucky guess. Okay, I gotta go down here anyway, so I count. Let's see. So, two, three. Ready? Yeah, so three, so we go one more. I'll stick an elbow on there, and then I'll drop another printer down. Oh, it's up here. Okay. And just like that. And of course, any composites. Anyways, let me finish this up, and then we'll get some air blades on here. Okay, I got it done. Uh, I actually forgot to add the access boxes here. We're going to actually check to make sure we got everything here. We should have two boxes, two miners, and two printers. And we do. Good. All right, so now let's go up and get some air blades on here. And I apologize for it raining. I live in a bad neighborhood. Now, I, I was thinking originally of having like a roof on here too, and I might try to do that. But the only thing is, though, is I don't know if the glass will actually connect to itself. And I highly doubt it. Let's find out. And no, it won't. It's not even there as far as it's, it's concerned. So, um, yeah, I was... I wanted to get a, some sort of ceiling on here for uh, weather purposes. So I think we're going to have to do this a little differently than what I originally wanted. Give us a little more headroom. And at the same time, too, it gives us the opportunity to have a, have a light in here as well. So it's going to be the same pattern. It's going to be the just like the walls. It's going to be four in a rotating pattern with a block in the middle. The block in the middle is going to be an anchor port point for the air blades, the solar panels, and for our light, if we choose to have one. All right, and like so, and go here, go to white, and finish her all up. So now I got to go up top to get the air blades on here. That's the next one. Uh, the air blades are going to be on a grid of basically batteries. That's why I got batteries on my hot bar. Uh, so I'm going to place one more block down like that. And then we'll go ahead and get some batteries going. And yeah, so it's going to be like 25 or something. Four, five, six. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And six, actually. I'll rotate that the right way in case anybody <laughs> gets bugged by it. Won't bother me. Of course not. Anyways, uh, let's do it that way. Yes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repeat this, do a cross section. I'll put, I'm gonna put another ring it like this around it. And then we'll see if we can sneak some air uh, solar panels on here. Okay, so I got the air, air blades and the batteries on. Uh, originally, I did have it come up when I wanted the ceiling to be up here, uh, but even though there is that gap there, it seems to be seems to be good because when I placed all four glass panels in there, it went completely quiet inside. So that is good. Uh, whether or not we hear the air blades is a whole other story. Uh, so now I'm just going to throw some solar panels on here. Um, we're not going to be flying around all the time, but uh, what I'm thinking about doing is just go in here, we'll grab couple more blocks uh, yes I'm out completely out of silver now I actually had to borrow one of these air blades from the bias solar flyer again so now it's a uni solar flyer maybe just for the hell of it we'll try to fly it see if it actually goes anywhere all right now I I do believe that the solar panels can be side attached yes they can so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna place eight solar panels on here Kind of look, kind of look like a cross on the top, but it's still a cube. It's still a cube. It's still a minor. It still has purpose in our in our society nowadays with these changes. Uh, what was that? That was nine. Yes. And this is going to help me out a lot too, because I'm always going to have a supply of plates and frames and what have you. We are going to. I am going to get a main storage set up inside. Here we still gotta get the cockpit in there. We got configure the air blades, which I probably should have done before I put these on here, but I'll figure it out. And the sun goes down, so I shall see you in the morning. And here we are, bright and early for the morning rain. 
we go inside, it's nice and quiet, nice and warm. Uh, what I was thinking about doing, originally I wanted to put a railing on the side here, but I don't think that's a big bit of an issue. But see, we can actually access both printers. That's good, from up here anyways. The miners will have to do here, and that's only just to be able to filter out what you want. Uh, my original idea was to have a dedicated miner to each printer, but uh, apparently that's gone to the wayside, but we're going to uncheck that. So this way it doesn't fill up the inventory system with the ores. It stays in the miner, and then that, that way our inventory is going to be full of plates and frames and everything else. And probably... Actually, that's a good idea. Let's do it this way. Let's get the conveyors out again. And we'll start with a three that way. And then a three that way. And we'll go back to this bar. We'll go here and then we'll actually have our main storage like this. And we can, we can call it a bench. Why not, right? And at the same time, too, it stops <laughs> stops anyone from actually falling off the edge there. There we go. I might even put a little rail in here just just for the sake of it. That's the wrong railing. That's the right railing. And, of course, I bugged myself again. There we go. All right. I fail this one. There we go with the battery. Thinking about a light too. I was, I'm thinking of just throwing a solar beacon on there. Uh, one, so we can track the thing, and two, we have free light. And let's actually do that right now, just because. As long as I don't hit my head on it. I don't know if some of you are taller than me, but I seem to be okay. Okay, now let's do that. And that, and now to, to pilot this thing, we're actually on odds so we can go ahead and let's use the old command console here, command console here wow i'm bad today with that all right where is that thing where is it where is it i guess it doesn't really matter which one it is yeah i you do have to grab the one that uh, bugged out on you okay there we go so now we can actually fly this thing fly in a cube love it and takes you down here. Maybe let's put some railings there just to prevent that. Let's see if it actually does anything. Why not? We'll be we'll be safe in the back. No, nope, still puts you on the stairs. That's fine. All right, I want to put a thermal regulator in here too. Let's actually put that right in here. Uh, where is it? Where's our honey honey new block? There it is. Right at the bottom. Sure. Oh, what do you know? I have enough to build it to. All right, so that is that. Everything's built. All I gotta do is configure it. Uh, gotta deal with the rain. Uh, by the time I get the air blades all configured and everything wired, we should be in the clear, literally. And we are done. Uh, I decided to fill in the gap here with a couple of railings. I was going to fill it all, all in the blocks, but I didn't really like how that looks, so I did it that way. Uh, everything is wired. It's a bit of a mess. Air blades are configured. Um, I have... I'll bring it... Well, let's actually drop it out of the ground. We'll give you a quick tour, and then we'll take it for a test run. All right. Don't break. Uh, hmm. It's a good thing I say that I might have to... Well, let's find out and <laughs> see if it actually grabs anything. Uh... Oh yeah, it's turned off. Yeah, I might I might put some legs on. I just want to make sure that that actually touches the ground. If you're in like a little bit of a valley, it might not touch, but... Uh... Oh yeah. So, blue is for air blades. Brown is for miners, printers, and even this thing. You can turn that off manually if you want. But let's go see if it's actually touching the ground. And it is. That one's touching. Okay, let's see if we can get the other one here. Not in the best location. Oh, there it is. Come on, there you are. Okay, 
so they are both working. All right, so we take off silicone on one and take silicone off the other. They're not going to go into the storages. We can set up the printers here. Uh, we'll just have one doing infinite plates. And just fill in 99999 all the way, and I'll do infinite crafting. And the other one can reach that. We'll do the same thing with the plates. Now, oh, there we go. And now we have a mobile mining facility. And now let's see if this thing actually flies. All right, let's turn the air blades on. I hear air blades. And it's not going to lift, is it? Oh, what do you know? It's almost enough. Yeah, I'm holding space and it's not going up. It's a tad too heavy. I think we can fix that. All right, I added four more solar panels on, or air blades on here. I got them on the end of the solar panels uh, with blocks because they wouldn't actually snap to it. Uh, unfortunately, and I've already tried recording this. I had to scrap the recording because I got a little tongue-tied. But it just barely lifts off the ground. As you can see, it is a little heavy on this side because of the printers. So I will have to balance on this side. Maybe stick some posts or something over here. Maybe right along that edge at the bottom. Uh, but which means I will have to get two more air blades up top. Uh, I've already had to take a couple of air blades off the, the right wing there. I had to take apart that miner over there and that miner over there. Which I don't care because i got two miners right here. Ready and willing. And yeah, I think four more air blades and this should be somewhat better. Like it doesn't really go very high. It goes extremely slow. Like a meter every two seconds. Which is isn't the end of the world unless you're trying to get over a mountain but at least this is going to get me some automated production so i don't have to do any grinding to get plates and frames and to build stuff and the beauty thing about this is, is completely configurable it's bottom heavy too so you shouldn't have to worry about this thing rolling over if it does you got air blades all right yourself i want to see if i'm actually getting anything here and yes, I am. A very minor amount. But as long as this is going, those are going to be going. Because those are set to infinite. But there we have it. Uh, that is uh, an autosave. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that during recording. Uh, the builder's block. Uh, next episode, we're going to we're gonna take a quick trip up north, get, grab some more silver, make, so we can make some more air blades, and then I'm going to you know, double or even... You know, just say the hell of it and triple it up just to make sure it's got the power to lift it up. I was trying to stay within the cube, but I didn't realize it was going to end up being that heavy. And I never did, did check the weight on that those windows. Yeah, that'd probably be half the reason right there, 400 apiece. Uh, yeah, and then uh, once I get it all f working a little bit better as far as flight goes, I will blueprint it and put it up in the workshop for you guys. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.